As I stated before, we are facing a food crisis toward the end of this year, toward harvest season, that many people are not seeing coming. And this is brought on because 2019 so far has been a nightmare for all the agriculture industry inside the United States. These farmers in Nebraska, Iowa, along the Missouri River, along the Mississippi River, in different areas, dealing with levees breaking, waters inundating their farmland. And a lot of this farmland has still been covered in water, meaning that they have not been able to plant this year's crop yet. This is huge. This is big time, guys. I'm I'm warning you. When you have this much farmland that is just blank, there's going to be consequences. And people are just turning a cheek to it, it seems, and not wanting to talk about it. Here's another article talking about not just the crisis itself, but talking about the weather patterns. And that the calendar might have said that it was spring more than a month ago, but there have been signs all around us of mixed weather, as we've seen late winter patterns popping up in certain areas as well and according to officials and the official data this was the latest arrival of spring in 38 years of record keeping in parts of kansas and oklahoma portions of washington and oregon also saw the latest spring start on record and in parts of the plains in places like south dakota nebraska and even oklahoma a late spring like this year's only happens once every 10 years or more. So many farmlands destroyed. A lot of planting has been delayed. And they continue to talk about this and, and the outlook toward the end of this year is not going to be a good one. They're saying only 30% of U.S. cornfields have been planted. Barakata Yahweh Shai. Call Halal Yamla, Allah Yanawa, Bahashem Raka Kodash. Double honor to the apostles and Alice of Great Millstone. Peace and salutation to the whole fully lek. This is the brother Bashar from the GMS Bahamas camp back at you with this truth. It's a brief lesson. Yeah, Kim, as we could see in the video there, that the Mosai ain't playing, the Mosai is bringing these plagues upon this earth. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, ain't plain. And for all this, our people still ain't gonna be mindful. You know, when they decide to uh, uh, probably consider it's gonna be too late, the door of repentance is gonna be closed, and you're gonna be put to death. Because the Mosai ain't plain. He is bringing this judgment. You, you see all that mass land but, 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 but got destroyed, and uh, uh, rain floods. Uh, water damaged crops and, and, and corn corn is on a lot of items a lot of stuff that we eat they use uh, uh, I don't know how they do it they already break it down but corn is on a lot of stuff you know corn starch uh, corn syrup you know corn flakes you know corn is on a lot of stuff uh, 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 a lot of a lot of a lot of things that we eat and that there's gonna basically bring it up to Cause it to be a a, a a food famine, you know that there's the beginning. Because if they ain't able to plant no crops, what we gonna do when we don't eat up the supplies of food that we have now? You know, only the lack is gonna be straight in that day. The the, the men the, the men the men I gonna talk about the men because automatically the, the 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 women and the children come with the men of the Lord. The men only the household of the men of the Lord are gonna be straight in that day. Two thirds of our people, they're gonna, they're gonna be put. I'm only talking about the nation of Israel, you Native Americans, Negroes, and Latinos, and confusion of facing the forwards. Two thirds of our people are gonna be put to death. They, the majority of our people, what, 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 the, what the ICBM missiles don't get, the intercontinental ballistic missiles are gonna get. Many of them are gonna die of hunger. And I always just tell our kingdom here in, 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 down here in the Bahamas that I believe farming is gonna take out the, a lot of our people. People are gonna starve to death. It ain't going to be no food to eat. And that there is just a small tip of the iceberg of what's to come. But without further ado, I got a couple of precepts. I can just jump into it. This is the book of Deuteronomy 28 and 38. Thou shalt carry much seed out into the field and shall gather but little in. Now, in that video there, we could see 
that uh, 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 probably they was getting ready to plant some corn or, or crops would got damaged and you could see uh, 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 mass pieces of land destroyed from water damage. Crops weren't able to, to be planted or they might have been planted but got destroyed in water damage. And that's only the beginning. That's only a beginning plague of what the Most High is bringing into this place. So if Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai is continue to do that, What's going to happen when we eat up, like I said, what's going to happen when you don't eat up the supply of food? What's here now? And here in the Bahamas, we rely on, 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 on America. Basically, all of our uh, clothes, food, everything comes from, it comes from Babylon. What are we going to do down here then? People are going to die of hunger. There ain't going to be nothing to eat. And it's going to lead into cannibalism. But that's the next video I get lined up to do. You know, it's going to lead into cannibalism. But our people don't take it serious. They, they, they don't regard the word of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. They, they, they cast this behind their back as though as it would have no effect on them. And for that, you will be put to death. This is the book of 2nd Edges 15 and 11. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt. This is, this, is, this is the point I wanted to get out of it. And smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof. Well, we don't see it done beginning right now because that's a plague. Egypt shall mourn modern day, modern day uh, 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 at least America. It's considered to be modern day Egypt, Babylon, uh, 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 Sodom and Gomorrah, the land of all the abominations. Uh, uh, Salak. Yeah, uh, uh, 11. At least I can get the point of that. And smite Egypt with plagues as before, and I will destroy all the land thereof. Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that Yahweh shall bring upon it. They that till the ground shall mourn. And right now, the farmers in Babylon, they mourning over this right now. You know, because they're only thinking about uh, 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 money anyhow. Uh, uh, that what they're going to gain off of this because they're saying, well, we can't put down no crop because this is what's happening. This is what's going on. The weather. Let me read that again. They that till the ground shall mourn. <laughs> For the seed shall fail through the blasting and hail and with a fearful consolation. Woe to the world and to them that dwell therein. The most high power, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, in plain. He is bringing this judgment. All right? This is our second address, 15 and 49. I will send plagues upon thee widowhood, poverty, famine, sword, and pestilences to waste thy houses with destruction and death. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai is bringing these plagues. You can't run from that. Alright? 2nd address 16 and 19. Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. But for all these things they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. But victuals shall be so cheap upon the earth, they're going to find cheap foods, <laughs> that they shall think themselves to be in a good case. And even then shall evils grow upon the earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. For many of them that dwell upon the for many of Tzalak, for many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine, no food, 
and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword waste. ICBM, intercontinental ballistic missiles. So you ain't gonna miss it. You're gonna be vaporized. You're gonna be put to death. All right. Uh, second address 16 and 1. Woe be unto thee, Babylon and Asia. Woe be unto thee, Egypt and Syria. Gird up yourselves with sack, slap. Gird up yourselves with cloths of sack and hair. Bewail your children and be sorry, for your destruction is at hand. Prepare the most high power, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai say, your destruction is at hand. A sword is set upon you, and who may turn it back? A fire is sent among you, and who may quench it? Plagues are sent unto you. That's a plague. And what is he that may drive them away? May any man drive away a hungry lion in the wood? Or may anyone quench the fire in stubble? When it had begun to burn, may one turn again the arrow that is shot of a strong archer. The mighty, the mighty power, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, <laughs> send it the plagues. And who is he that can drive them away? Ain't nobody could drive these plagues away because the most I send in these plagues and all righteousness. Straight up judgment. But like the scriptures say, for all this, they ain't going to turn away from their stinking evil ways. You know, they ain't going to turn away from their stinking evil ways. Like I said, this is going to lead up to farming, a food farming. You know, and ain't going to be nothing to eat. Only the elect of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, are going to be straight in those days. But this right here was happening. A straight up judgment from the supreme power, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. I hope this lesson was an edifying lesson. So, with that, I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor to the supreme power, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakah Kodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, because that's where I learned this truth from. Peace and salutation to the hopefully lack in the four winds during the week in humility and charity. Risking your lives to do so. To you I salute Akim. To you I salute. Shalom.